आई एम सो टायर टूडे आई हैव अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क टू डू बेटा डू यू नो अबाउट द इवेंट दैट इज अप्रोचिंग सून मॉम नॉट राइट नाउ आई एम नॉट इन द मूड ऑफ गेनिंग एनी इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन इन द वर्ल्ड टुडे आई एम जस्ट हैव अ स्कॉल फॉर यू present here of china afghanistan and india we all are gathered here to celebrate the event a world food day which is celebrated on 16th october every year we have people here belong from different parts of the world and we are gathered here to discuss about how this event is celebrated in their countries and we'll be mentioning about few of the problems and solutions to it so when you do respect let's start with china followed by india and afghanistan On this day, more than 150 countries unite to raise awareness of the issues surrounding poverty and hunger. Ni hao, my country China has made remarkable progress in boosting national economic development and agricultural production. Poverty alleviation is a pioneering and arduous trek. which determines that poverty cannot be eliminated by relying solely on the efforts of individuals. local governments or non governmental forces poverty elimination requires will and action at national level and must be elevated to a national strategy namaste my country india is one of the world's largest food producers rapid growth of population is one of the main reasons that the food is not available to the needy food insufficiency among older adults aged 45 and above are often linked with a higher risk of chronic diseases as well as disabilities these negative health outcomes have a direct impact on food access resulting in food poverty salam i'm from afghanistan and about 1/3 of the population of the country is facing food insecurity also more money would be needed to feed the population If the situation continues like this and there is no government control to the prices that will cause so many problems to the local people. However, the main reasons are drought, floods, conflicts and COVID-19 makes the situation even worse. Because of the virus, the price of food is also rising due to heavy demands and little supply. As this is and we can see food prices even in developing countries are getting worse. so our fragile planet needs more and it needs it now so more action more finance more cooperation and more commitment is needed to tackle world food hunger and to rebuild societies and one of the simplest ways to combat world food hunger is to initiate more collection drives as a can of food may seems to be a small step but can make a huge difference in this you and me today I feel so much blessed to study in PCS. My school does so much to fulfill these SDGs. Our school organizes outreach programs to help the people who are underprivileged. Our school hosts charity boxes in every class to contribute its part towards zero hunger. It is truly a blessing to be a part of such a great charity program. try at my level best to ensure zero hunger and eradicate poverty thank you i would like to conclude by saying that it is our responsibility to be an active citizen of the country and to contribute our part for preservation of food by following these two easy steps number 1 is grow your network twitter is home to dynamic conversations about addressing hunger including the voices from activists advocates healthcare workers and educators explore the hashtags below for resources inspiration and possible collaborators hashtag zero hunger hashtag sdg2 and hashtag sdg second one is teach students to home grown food even people with enough food to eat can still suffer from the impact of hunger One aspect of food insecurity is malnutrition or the lack of nutrients from fresh fruits and vegetables. Consider volunteering with your class at a local community garden or start your own. 
You can also challenge students to create a healthy meal plan for their family within a budget. Thank you. I hope you liked it and you will follow it. Reduce food bills at your school and in your community. Ask your friends and family to use social media or create posters to educate and raise awareness. Encouraging people to be more thoughtful about how they are treating food. It's your turn now.